So today I'm at the Ashton Football Club here for the Dulux event and for the actual football match here today. Sunderland, uh, Ryan Corey Welfare. Uh, decent side, steady Northern League side, top half I would say, so tough game, but hopefully we'll get something from it today. As you can see, the crowd here today is like prospering really well, so you know it's good to see all the kids here and juniors and part of the community getting involved. So for years, the Dulux dog has been the face of Dulux for years and years now. We've been sponsoring Ashton, the community club, for six years, I think, was the initial conversations, 2013. So uh, probably uh, we had a four-year initial sponsorship and then we've just renewed um, for this season as well. well. They're doing all right, the lads are good. Young squad, so they're developing well and, you know, they're doing all right. So we're trying to develop young players. Uh, so today we've got a, a right back who's only eight, uh, right back, a left back, sorry, who's 18. We've got a 18 year old, a 17 year old on the bench. We've got an 18 year old on the bench. So viewers, Ashton have just scored and the current score here is 1-1. One, one. So we're trying to develop youth. Um, like they're talented players, uh, we just need to nurture them and develop them in the way that they're developing and we've got one or two more senior players and the likes of Gav Keynes and Ian Heron and Stephen Gibson who are, who are helping to develop the, these young players and it, it's a work in progress. Um, I would urge everybody to stick with us. We'll have some good days like today. We'll have some not good, so not not so good days. Sorry, like Tuesday when the performance level wasn't quite where it should be. Um, but all in all, we'll keep trying our best. We'll keep giving 100 percent, and if we do that, I'd like to think we'll win more games than we'll lose. Do you expect this kind of turnout? Because I mean, there's a lot of people here for the match and for the event itself. There's probably I don't know four or five hundred people turned out, which is which is good, and I'm I'm over the moon with it. Um, really pleased. So viewers, I'm here at a dog at I guess the dog competition. Hmm, which one shall I put? I picked Sarah. We're getting better as, as the weeks go by because they're starting to get used to the way we want them to play. Um, so all in all, I, I'd like to say the future looks bright. So we're here with the main man, the chairman of the club, Brian. I have been doing all right at home. Um, that's where you want to do your player best games because that's where your own fans are uh, who pay to come and watch you. But you've always got to have ambition. You've always got to have things to look at and drive forward with for the kids and juniors and whatever. So you know, there's always things in mind, but there's nothing concrete at the moment. We work well together. We're, we're interested in the same things, which is ensuring that we we build good communities in and around Ashington, and we provide good places um, for whether it's kids or people that's wanting to get into competitive sport. They're essential, and, and this is one of the best towns in the world for football heritage. Do you think today encourages other youth players to come up to the first team? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. So, uh, as I say, our development team up who play in the Alliance Development Division, playing in a man's league, are predominantly all under 18, if I'm honest, other than one or two. Um, they train with the first team. They know that the, the first team are looking to develop youth, so they know that if they do it and perform well in the development squad, there's an opportunity for them to come and play in the first team. Um, we've seen that already this season uh, with Jamie Hansen, who's got a couple of goals for the first team now, Danny Anderson, who's played on a regular basis, Thomas Calthoba, who's playing on a regular basis, young Ben Gaffney's come to the club and made his debut today in only 18 and was fantastic, Joseph Bell, Dominic Price, who's ill today, he's in and around the first team, Harry Newton's pushing hard in the reserves for a place in the first team, as well as a number of other people, Drew Eastlake, Brandon Anderson. So, yeah, we've, we've got a real nucleus of young players. And as I said before, if we can keep them together, uh, keep giving them opportunity and they can see there's a pathway into the first team, hopefully local players in and around Ashton and the surrounding areas will see the club as somewhere they can come and develop 
rather than maybe having to go to other clubs to develop. It's come about because um, in speaking with Brian and the, the club, we were wanting to do a bit of a reset on the club and we wanted to um, try and ensure that Ashton Football Club was a, was a community club and it had teams of all different levels. And that work's been done. They've done a grand job at the club of organising that. And so now there's teams for all different ages um, with pro proper professional coaching in place. And what we wanted to do was just really let the community know that the clubs went through some real change and there's um, a lot of improvements in place and we just wanted everybody to know about it. And that's it folks, Ashton win a comfortable 3-2. Scary at times, but a very good 3-2 win for Ashton here today. Uh, obviously we're pleased, delighted to get three points. Um, we rode our luck a little bit at times. Um, we didn't quite play as well as we could, but uh, we're delighted to get three points.